and welcome to the 2023 Para National Champions here in WA. Kalitra Osuna is my name. I will be talking you through this game. I'm doing the best that I can. And joining me next to me is a man who was very familiar with the sport and with the occasion, David Cantoni. David, how are you, mate? Doing well, Kalitra. Thanks for having me. Of course, WA are kicking from your right to left in the black and yellow, famous for these parts of the country. Interception there. And New South Wales in, uh, in sky blue. That's Ben Atkins, played for Australia for many years, seasoned professional if I've ever seen one. Team captain got the intercept there and was trying to push forward quickly. And for those back home, David, what are we going to expect in this game? Because it's such a fast-paced game and New South Wales play a particularly distinct style of football. And we're told that they do that no matter who they're playing against, that they're just a well-drilled outfit. Yeah, and it's going to be end-to-end. WA like to counter-attack and they've got some really talented finishes when they get in the box. So... Anything could happen here. I think WA are the underdogs, but I think they like that, to take that title into the match. Williams sends a cross in. Oh, tasty little back heel there. Lava gets it with the touch. Yakima Uzo, just a bit of composure laying things down and man we know very well and familiar is Connor Bunce who outstanding game in the semi-final would contribute to all three goals interesting that he's playing in a more defensive position today yeah he's a big strong country boy and they've probably gone for a bit of muscle at the back there of course in a lot of finals they can be nervy affairs where you just need to do the basics right and make sure you don't lose a game can I take here New South Wales Intricate ones who play, intercepted by Bunce. Interesting to note, Kalichi, that all seven out for the field on New South Wales have played for Australia at one time or another against, a, a, I guess, a less experienced WA side here. Uh, make no mistake, WA are the, the underdogs here with such a huge presence of powers in there. And one of the best ones there was Daniel Campbell, as you mentioned, who makes these marauding runs and he connects really well in the one twos and we've seen him play so so much this this tournament as a person who drives from the back takes a quick touch takes another one and just exploits the space that you have in in the game because there are no offsides of course yeah which really stretches a game out and and makes for a lot of attacking football a lot of space to play lots of one twos and some interesting work around the box without the offside campbell good intercept by Lavagetta. Bunt on the counter-attack. WA have numbers here to three on three. Oh, good challenge. Big time tackle. Really good challenge there by Augustine Murphy breaking down that attack. Really smart play as well if you saw Kalichi by Lavagetta there. Saw his big man was running forward and just slotted in at the back to, to solidify the defences. And, and on that counter from from New South Wales, they were only 2v3. Nice way to defend there. Yeah, interesting that the referee stopped the play here. Hopefully it's nothing too serious from... Once. But yeah, that was a big time, big time tackle there from Murphy. It looked very clean too, so it looks like the injury here might just be a roll of an ankle or similar. These players have played a lot over these last couple of days, so and maybe the- even just a bit of fatigue kicking in. And the conditions, we cannot stress how hot it is here right now. And you'd like to think that'd be advantageous for the WA boys, but it has not been this hot all year. Yeah. Bunce is looking in a bit of trouble here, Kalichi. As we mentioned, it is very, very hot. And you can see the ice pack on the back of his head, so hopefully it's not too serious. He can come out, take a breather. Nice round of applause from both sets of supporters here for for Bunce. They recognise the uh, the player he is for not just WA but for the national team as well. WA will momentarily be down to five players here. Might be it for Bunce. I think he's just been taken away to... We've got some paramedics around the corner. and 
they'll be looking to him. But momentarily, WA are down to six. Yeah, which is in a in a sh small side of game leaves lots of gaps at the back. So this could be a really dangerous time, and WA really need to make a decision early on on how they're going to deal with this. Weirdly, it feels like a power play moment in hockey, which you'd be all familiar with as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and and the the way that. New South Wales stroke a ball around. This WA team can expect to be very stretched for these next few minutes. You need to communicate very, very well. Interception by Lavagetta. Once again, Augustine Murphy just marauding up and down the pitch. As you mentioned, Ake is more space there for the New South Wales team. Murphy. Integral interception there by Bremer Bell. Cut out Jack Williams, who was through in on goals. Oh. That was an expert, expert, expert pass by Atkins Leak there. Oh, they're being told to hold it off. He might be coming back. A bit of indecision here from Western Australia, or maybe a bit of uh, gamesmanship, just running down the time to give their their talisman a, an extra few seconds in the uh, in the medical area. Yeah, of course we're not too sure what the situation is, but we could see one of the team officials just are in touch their head. That's uh, poor clearance, oh. but big time interception and a tackle there. Outstanding from Rodrigo there. The opportunity, far post, and McConaughey makes amends. He does. You can see the WA coach, Barty, telling players to calm things down and try to get as much information. Indecision here, finds Izzo. Good bit of pressure in the corner, just slowing the game down enough. Jeremy Boyce did well to end up winning something. Barty commanding his troops to drop into what he's calling a deep block. Seems like they're attempting to part the bus while they sort out their their issues off the field. Atkins Ellick. Oh, I get there with the clearance. Atkins Ellick again. New South Wales doing the right thing, just keeping composure, stroking the ball around. WA need to make sure that they keep following the men and talking. Oh, big chance. <laughs> Campbell cutting inside onto that powerful foot. Just didn't quite hit it cleanly. Yeah, they do have acres of space, but moments of situations like this, McConaughey puts them in trouble. Campbell. Square cut back. Great save. The second time McConaughey's made up for a bit of a, a mistake at the back. It looks like Bunce might be returning here, which is good news for Western Australia. He's been gestured to come on. He's at the halfway line waiting to come on. Lovely touch. Boys. Oh. Lava Geta just does just enough there with increasing pressure. I'm sweating just sitting here, Kalichi. How do you think these boys are feeling? It's got to be a nervous situation, especially when you're down, down a player. You're you're begging and trying to get trying to get players on the field and stop the advantage that they do have. And the parity is now restored. Corner to take. Williams to Marsh. Marsh points it in. Quick clearance by Noah Bremer Bell. This game has taken a, a quick ebb and flow right now where you can see the pattern of play with 
as you mentioned, WA, they were forced to sit back and try to play on the counter, but maybe now with parity, they can try to arm wrestle their way back into this game. They still have everybody behind the ball, conceding a lot of ground. Marsh to Campbell. Marshall again. New South Wales playing all the way back, trying to draw Western Australia out. And they seem to have done that, created a bit more stretch in the game and a bit more space. WA have three at halfway. Deep blocks no longer there. Bit of space in the middle. Can they find him? Find Boyce, turns. I think uh, New South Wales got a little lucky there. Bunce looked like he was away. Yeah, it did. It did look like he could have could have gone either way. The hometown not getting the hometown call in that situation. But you can see that just by playing all the way back to the goalkeeper it creates this ocean of space in the middle, and they try to exploit it with Boyce. No offside makes this a big goal mouth scramble here. By Barnes. He just skips past them. Campbell lifts across in. It's cleared. WA have a chance for the counter attack here. Oh, ref. It's just been clobbered. He was away. That's, that's, one, a, that's one way to stop the counter attack. And I think uh, he's got away with it too. Definitely a, uh, a, a bit of professionalism there taking him down. Augustine Murphy with the foul. Long ball played in. Easily cleared. Time and space. Jack Williams to turn there. Atkins Illick. These New South Wales players are just so calm on the ball, so smooth. Everything's clean. It's really impressive to watch. It absolutely is. And you, you talk about the familiarity of each player away by La Bagetta, But I think what also hasn't been said is... I do believe they're, what, 13 time in a row champions, maybe even 15 time in a row champions, New South Wales. So they do have that pedigree. They do have that knowledge. They do have that know-how. And they've probably been there and seen it all. And as you mentioned, a lot of these players do are familiar with each other playing for the Paroos. So familiarity is something that they've got 100% on their side. Yeah, and, and those times are starting to change. It's it's The gap's closed between New South Wales and the rest of the, the states. They've traditionally had... Points of the box, free head. They've traditionally had much of the uh, much of the national team in in their uh, in their squad, but we can see two out there for WA that play regularly with the Pararoos now, and a, a couple of others that that really have a shout in the coming years. Yeah, we mentioned some of those players were in action. Caelan Van Huren, one of them for Victoria, just the the skill that that young man has, the the tenacity, the bravery. And at such a young age as well. It's great to see. And there's also a lot of talent coming out of Queensland too. Williams. Shot in. Clearance by Bunce. Campbell. Oh, Lovely little pass. touch there. Oh, goal line clearance by Connor Bunce. Just off the line there to deny Williams, who almost kind of chicken winged it in. Yeah. WA hanging by a thread here in... What a pass by Campbell, though. Outside of the boot, inverted, and he puts it on his player's chest. Outstanding. Atkins Illich. It really is the Alamo right now for WA. Rodrigo Incanere with a lovely touch. There's a counter-attack opportunity. I think that's going to be WA today, looking for those opportunities to, to hit on the counter. They've got some really good players out there. We saw Noah Bromabell score a screamer a few few days ago where he ran half the pitch and then was calm enough to find a gap and roll it in the corner. Loving the back heels here in WA. But it's a long ball, it's hopeful and finds Campbell. He's just so composed and calm on the ball. Nothing phases him right now. Atkins a look. 
Pirouette gets on his left foot. Can he have a hit? Goes back onto his right. Quick one, two with Williams. Boys. Atkins has just found himself a centimeter of space there. Just just almost walked into it, let everybody else move around, and he just found the gap. It was lovely to watch. There is that little pocket of space that he's there right now. He's screaming for it. It's not coming to him. Clarence again. Atkinson's long ball. Hopeful. And W get a chance to breathe here, David. Yeah, and I think they really need to do that. They're almost trying too hard. Trying for that counter-attack too hard. If they get the foot on the ball and slow it down a bit, they've got players that can play as well. No, absolutely. And I think a long ball through. Hopeful. Campbell, so much time. He's just... <laughs> it's really a joy to watch. <laughs> He's a gentleman, a player of this ilk. We're, we're watching the best in the business right now, and they're just super cup and composed. Oh, listen, Illich looks up, takes a touch. Oh, oh, drives it wide. That is millimetres wide. You cannot give a player of his level and calibre that much space. I want to say 15, 20 yards from goal. I think, I think realistically, Ben will be disappointed in that. He, he knows he can hit the target from there and he can do some damage. So secretly he might be a little let down in himself. In your care, eh? Bremer Bell. To Bunce. The long ball again. Long ball again. In the mixer. Gobbled up. Pines played more than 100 times for Australia. He doesn't make a mistake there. Gobbled up. Big time tackle. It was an absolutely necessary tackle because there's just a little bit overstretched in this situation. WA really do need to keep a little bit of the ball. And it seems like they're trying to make these killer passes from their own half rather than trying to make a more incisive killer pass. There is gaps that's there, especially on the transition for them. Marsh. And away from Bunce. It seems like they're playing to not make a mistake right now. Great battle. It's a terrific, terrific, terrific battle in there. I'm not too sure what needed to be called there. Giacomo Izzo was doing a pretty good job, and I don't think Jeremy Boyce minded either. Yeah. That was just good football, and I think, I think they've got to let a bit of, bit of that go. David Cantoni says, bring back the berth, ladies and gentlemen. Boyce. Ball in the middle. In your cat with a clearance. The chance for WA to counter-attack here. Lava gets a place the ball. Izzo keeps it in. Izzo with the nutmeg. Oh, they've called that out. The linesman says that that was out. And as, things are, happy. and as things are being heated up, the referee says it's time for a drinks break. We've got a little bit of time to reassess. Who do you think would be the, the better side after that? At the halfway mark of the first half, David. I actually think WA will be pretty happy with their performance, especially playing a big chunk of that downer player. Um, but New South Wales have been here, as we've mentioned, dozens of times. They know what they're doing. They're not concerned. And I think that's got to be the... the, the the message that's coming through from the coaching staff and through the experienced players as well as we just need one. It doesn't matter if it happens now. It doesn't matter if it happens with two minutes to go. We just need one. So nothing changes, boys. Keep playing it. Get into those pockets. If they're going to sit so deep into their edge of their, um, edge of their box, let's just bring them out, start from the goalkeeper. And if you can, there have been moments where they've had that ball in that little half space with the opportunity to turn. And once they do get that turn, you can see with Alec Atkins the, the ability that they do have to, to pop a shot in. It's just such a decisive. Mo it's it's so, it's such a joy to watch watching these two t play and, and and the tactical element that's at stake here. Yeah, it's like one team's playing chess and a, another team's playing settlers of Catan or something. They're <laughs> two completely different games, but the tactics are, are are very important for both sides. Both terrific games. I'm more of a checkers man myself, Kalichi. I'm more of a queen's gambit man myself for chess, David. Back to the football. Daniel Campbell. Chris Pine 
poor pass intercepted by Lavagetta, but just couldn't quite keep it in play. These two sides played out a, a pretty tight 1-1 draw earlier in the tournament, so nothing really to separate them so far. And it's been the case, I think, most previously or previous seasons, it's been WA and um, Victoria played each other off in the semi-finals, absolutely pulverising each other and leaving New South Wales with a little bit of scraps so to, to kind of feed off and play off. But it doesn't feel like that this year, especially with it being in WA. Um, and yeah, the, 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 the parity between these two times are, are closing. Campbell, ages of space in the middle. Oh, oh deliver. Delicious ball. Uh, and a timely challenge. That's good football from both sides. Augustine Murphy made the, it just goes into the back post there, but it was a big time, big time tackle by Ravity Bacon. Do you think the uh, the home crowd has has helped WA a bit here, Kalichi? I really do. I really think that. I mean, you look at the people here. We've almost got two stands full. Balls in. Clearance from Bunce. And the players have spoken about how awesome it is to, for the first time in a long time, have their own family here. And <laughs> Daniel Campbell's enjoying it himself. He takes that touch and he smiles at the, to the crowd as if to say, I know exactly what I'm doing. Acres of space for Akinzoch in the middle. It's a joy to see some, some passion and some love. And oh, some lovely enjoyment. touch there. Through on goal. Oh, he's checked and a beautiful bit of intervention there. Uh, it was a 50-50 a chance there at a penalty. I think uh, WA can probably count themselves lucky. I mean, Connor Marsh ghosted in there. He took a lovely touch to get past his man, and he looked for all money like he was going to get a shot off, but with some del like awesome defending, last-minute defending with Bremer Bell to make yeah. him be forced to make a play and to say the referee can make a decision here. And it looks like Marsh has just had a bit of enough and a little retaliatory tackle and now a few words at the referee. These players really want to win, Kalisha. Okay. It's, it's a long trip home from New South Wales to WA. It's a long trip home knowing that, oh, maybe I could have had this and had that. So, yeah, you absolutely want to win. And I, I, I need people to be wa who are watching this maybe for, for the first time to understand these are the best in the country that we're watching right now. These are absolute competitors who really want to win. I'm loving the tactics here from WA. Who's taking the free kick? You taking the free kick? Now nah, we'll just take a bit of time. But it's a little bit too far for Connor Bunce. I don't want to say it's too far from after seeing his last shot, but it does look like it's further on from, from where he shot yesterday. This is in the mixer. The intricacies of seven aside Paralympic football have, a, have some different tactics there because there's no offside, so you can put three players around the goalkeeper and, and just stick it in and see what happens, right? We saw his free kick the other, the other day that, that went into the top corner. Players were in the way of the goalkeeper mm. and there's nothing that they can do about it. They can't push a higher line and, and give a keeper a free run at it. So there are some differences. Oh, that's a foul and there's a yellow card coming here. That is a terrific bit of running from Campbell and an even more terrific tackle. That is a tackle and a yellow card that you would frame knowing the danger that is at stake there to say, OK, look, we'll take the free kick here, we'll re regroup and we'll test our luck when trying to make sure that nothing happens here because he was through on goal and you don't want him running into your box he with was, time and space. He was in the box, clear shot on goal. That being said, the danger's not gone here. We've seen a few good free kicks this tournament and if we put if we put Campbell on this ball, he's at least hitting the target. Oh, it's a, looks like it's a two-man wall for WA. Murphy looks interested in it. Murphy looks interested for the left footer. And you can see Illich and Marsh making use of, them, of themselves in the box. Campbell fakes. Murphy hits. Oh, what a finish. What an absolute strike. And look what it means to him. Look what it means to him indeed. A terrific bit of strike. It cannons off the crossbar and into the back of the net, and it gives New South Wales the lead. Kalichi, I'm speechless. What a rocket. Not only are you speechless, this home crowd is a little bit more quiet now. That is a terrific shot from Augustine Murphy. Cannons off the crossbar. You could have had two goalkeepers in there. It would have been tough for them.
Lovar gets a goes for himself. And like you said, this is an Australian international who's been there. He's got 100 caps, and he just gobbles that up. The game will open up now because WA have to chase something. They do and they don't. It'll be interesting to see how long they decide to stick for. Obviously, they're going to need to chase something, but will they chase something with five minutes to go, with ten minutes to go? Will you make this into a game? Because knowing how the games have been, that second goal could be the, the absolute decider, and you don't want to concede that goal in the next five minutes, so to speak. And we have seen a lot of extra time goals at this tournament. Bit of fatigue kicks in, especially in this heat. You never know what could happen. Izzo with the nutmeg. Just no support to deal with it afterwards. No. New South Wales close in on him, 4v1, and re retain possession again. It was a, a relentless press to get that ball back. Hackens, look, just sizing it all up, taking their time. They don't need to score a second goal. They can just keep the ball. Williams. WIO playing relatively narrow, sort of giving a bit of space out wide for... Oh, no. That makes it 2-0. That is a goal by Ben atkins Illick, a, a mistake or an error by Sam McConaughey, and it's now New South Wales 2, WA 1. Now you've got no choice but to twist. Yeah, and it's... It's an interesting scenario. What will WA do to roll the dice here and try and get themselves back in it? Will they look to their bench? They've got uh, West Australian veteran Chris Minatello on the on the uh, on the bench, and and we all know that he can score goals. Big, strong boy that knows how to finish. Maybe they'll need to bring him on. Bremer Bell looks inside, can't find Connor Campbell on the counter attack right now. He's got Williams to the left of him. Goes to his right. Williams still back post. Great save by McConaughey. Danger's not cleared Danger's yet. Danger's not cleared yet. Augustine Marsh is there. Augustine Murphy, rather. Bremer Bell. This is much better, but it's just... It's just a bit of relief there. It seems like this halftime whistle can't come soon enough for WA. No, it, it absolutely can't come soon enough. They need to make a bit of a, 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 bit of a change. As you said, it's, it's really, really hot out there, and they have come into this game with an entire idea and identity to sit back and play on the break, and that early works when the scores are level, but once you are chasing the game, you can't sit back and, and counter, and as you said, the game is now absolutely stretched. Campbell. What a ball. Lovely ball there. Boyce. He's got support. Boyce. Campbell inside for Marsh. Big time tackle. We need players up. He's looked up, trying to find his own. And it's just gobbled up super easy by the goal scorer Murphy. Izzo's worked so hard up top by himself, but he is by himself. He hasn't had the support. No, he does need the support. He either needs to hold the ball up a little bit more and give players a chance to get up there, or they need to just bust the gut. But again, it's hard after you've just been set back. Lovely one, too. Oh, heavy touch there. Campbell will be disappointed. He knew he had a half a sniff there. He is disappointed. It's a bit better touch, and he could actually trying to put a shot on goal here but it does look like a slight tactical tweak has changed with Bunce being pushed further up the field the big country boy and that means Captain Lovegetter slots in at the back they Can give up a bit in? of size but definitely not now so he's a smart kid knows how to play the game well four minutes of added time can WA try to get something to bring this game back? It is curious that they do go for these long balls and it's meat and drink stuff once again. Master Campbell. It is really looking like WA don't have a plan B, so they do need to get into the sheds at half time and, and reassess and see what they can come out and do a little differently. Oh, ab absolutely. It's... It, they've had the line share of the ball, New South Wales. Oh, outstanding and interception there. Another one. Good ball. Can Albert Bell get there? No. Nope. Campbell's gobbled it up. Kept the ball in play. <laughs> There's used, been no press. Used every millimetre of that pitch to his advantage. Just very smart play. And once again, it's 
it's just really too easy right now for New South Wales for when they break. They can get into the middle third as easy as they'd like. Sometimes they get into that final third and maybe it's a little bit more difficult, but the fact that they can get to two-thirds of the pitch and, and be absolutely fine, it's a little bit difficult right now for WA. A great ball for Campbell. Cuts inside on his left. It is interesting some of the parallels you talk about across the sports. There's a there's a, a almost a, a dump and chase sort of vibe that we see a lot in hockey uh, in the uh, in the WA side, and then and then you sort of that see that high press, win the ball back, possession type thing that you'd you'd level at a Brighton or similar in the in the Premier League from the uh, from the New South Wales side. Some really different tactics going on. You need to keep that a little bit more. And How's your touch, Dave? No, I didn't get to us. Was not concerned. But no, you, you, you are right. You can easily see a distinctive style of play here. And again, I think, I think there's a little bit of nerves that's at, at play here from the WA side because it doesn't really look like... It doesn't really look like... If I was to ask you right now, what's a WA goal look like? It looks like a long ball into the box and hoping that someone makes a mistake. Whereas from a... New South Wales perspective, what's a New South Wales goal look like? They're one, coming two, out wide, one, two, one, one two. twos, turn in the midfield, uh, send a cross into the far post. So they've got different ideas, and WA just need to get a little bit more of that back because this is a terrific team that they are playing, and if they stay like this, then the trophy's not coming, the trophy's not staying in WA, so to speak. Yeah, you're right, and and the you know advantage New South Wales, they know what they do, they do it very well. And you can see it all over the park. One, two, little touch, come into space. It's it's a joy to watch. Campbell, a WA Marsh, boy on the, oh. great save. Augustine double Murphy, save. another double save. McConaughey that's, absolutely makes amends for earlier in the game. That, that's worth at least a goal. It, it, it is. These are two big-time saves from guilt ed chances. And it really should be 3-0, but he's made amends right now for that earlier mistake, and he's, 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 he's really keeping WA in the game here, and they need to repay him. After that first save, he's lying on the ground and somehow popped up to make the second save. His reaction times were, were Olympic swimmer level. Oh, terrific. That'll make him feel a bit more confident and settled as well, which is, is what WA need at the back. This is, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we we made the parallels about the two different sports, but they are playing two different sports. It's you've got one team who's content to hold the ball, move it left and right. I think that might be the first time we've seen two passes come out from WA. Can we find a third? A third. And it's not like they can't do it. We've seen them do it in some of the other games. It's it's almost like they're in a bit of awe. Yeah. Of, uh, of their opposition here. Look at that pass. Great pass. There's those there. Can he get some support? He's so lively with his feet. Love I get to with the cross in the box. Oh, oh. Almost snuck in at the far post there. Maybe a bit of wind dragging it in. No, you're right. But th this is a lot better from WA to know that they do have a cap the capability of playing and keeping the ball down and trying to create. And again, this is the first time that they've made an opportunity from their final third rather than from the middle third or from their own. A third of the pitch. But the level of quality there was on par with what we've seen from New South Wales. Absolutely. So it's not like they can't they can't do it. They just need to essentially show a bit of confidence in themselves and and, and not be in awe of their opposition. It does it does feel like we it does feel like they're playing the occasion and the opposition rather than just, hey listen, we've got a match. Mm. And this is a tide who had a nice one one draw earlier in the group stage and Oh. Bunch of the tackle. It's an opportunity right now. They're the two Over on one. Oh, referee. It, I'm, I'm sorry, Kalichi, and maybe my yellow colored glasses are showing here. But I think that's a yellow card if the foul on Campbell was. He's broken down an attacking play there. He has, but as I'll, I'll, I'll put my referee hat on, glasses on as well, which I'm trying to do. He's played the ball backwards. The direction isn't going forwards. You can't really say it's a counter-attacking play in that situation. Can you call it malicious? Can you call it intentional? Can you say he's an experienced player who knows exactly what he's doing and is trying to break up play? You absolutely can. But there has to also be a direction of going forward. It's my, is what I would say. Okay. 
Let's agree to disagree there, Kalichi. You know me in yellow cards, Dave. I think they know you. Uh, but yeah, brief momentary break in play right now. We've almost played those four minutes of extra time, so... I know it's not the done thing, but if I was the referee, I might just blow, blow half-time here and well, send everyone into the sheds. As much as you'd like to do that, you also need to know that this is Connor Bunch range. And taking a shot in this angle, pack the box out, a deflection, anything, might be the last bit of play where he takes a shot and then we go to half-time, and I think he'll fancy himself from here. That is a, a fair shout there, Kalichi, and something I hadn't really thought of. This is a chance for WA to pull one back just before half time. Get the shot in before half time. The, the crowd here is baying for blood. They have seen what we would say is the fan favourite be hacked down in the centre circle, Kalichi. <laughs> Irregardless of the direction <laughs> of the ball. <laughs> On a bunch. Three person all that is a lot of respect. It's done its job. And that is half time here at the State Football Centre. New South Wales leading two goals to nil. Uh, own goal from Sammy McConaughey made it 2 0. And the initial goal scored by an absolutely rasping free kick from Augustine Murphy. We'll be right back after this half time intermission.
Welcome back to the State Football Centre for the Paranationals final here between New South Wales and uh, Western Australia. Kletcher Sonu is my name and I'm again still with uh, David Cantoni to get the second half underway with the scores New South Wales to Western Australia 0. David, what did, no, no changes um, from either side, but what needs to change for WA for this half? I think they need to score, Kletcher. Sorry to point out the obvious. Thanks, then, Michael Owen. They need to score, so they need to get into that final third and create some chances. It means they're going to have to leave a bit open at the back and maybe open themselves up to uh, to a barrage of, of chances. And if WA lose this 8-1 or 2-0, it doesn't matter. They do need to push forward. They do need to get bodies into space. Shot, clearance from Inyongere. Atkins. Atkins and it just lofts one in. And it's interesting to hear from coach Chris Barty that he was saying his players were too deep. So I think step one, as you mentioned, is get further up the pitch. And they've played short. Rafi Bacon. Delicious pass to Lavagetta. Rafi Bacon again, and much more composed from WA to find Lavagetta in the middle of the pitch. Finds Connor Bunce, and this is much better from WA. Murphy is angling in and telling them to stay to the left. Connor Bunce tries to cut inside, but we can see Murphy is adept to it. This is much better from WA. Bunch of interception. Augustine Murphy. Lovely. Jack Merzo. Rafi Bacon. Rodriguez. From the bell in the middle. Rubber bell for the hit. And this is much better from WA. They could not have asked for a better start. And I think that message has been absolutely clear as boys. Whatever happens, let's make sure we go out on our sword here. And lovely through ball. No offside makes that. Jack Williams looks up. Marsh. They've tried to overplay this. Back to Campbell. Indian Gerde. Absolutely terrific defending. Not only to come from one side of the pitch to make a tackle, but to go all the way to the other end and still be there and force yourself well to make a play. They've overplayed that a little bit, and you would have thought they would have had a shot a little bit earlier in that, in that piece of play. Yeah, there's a, there's a time to pass and there's a time to shoot, Kalichi, and I think they had two Cu times A to couple shoot times there. to shoot there. Atkins with a lovely, lovely layoff there for Boyce. Boyce lost one in. Finds Bunce. Oh, battle. Walsh. Sorry, Williams. Too deep is the call from Chris Barty. Atkins, a look. Important header there from Bremer Bell. Composure here. I've seen a lot of those diagonal balls into the box at the far post from both sides. It seems to be a, a, a tactic that, get, that gets a real workout here. No, absolutely. And I think it's just trying to 
like you mentioned, without there being any offsides, you can try to catch teams on the blind side there and have a bit of action. It's an inviting pass for Bunce. Looks up, finds Ezo. Ezo can't quite find Bremer Bell. And this is what WA will leave themselves open to, the counter-attack. Marsh finds Williams. Back to Marsh. Hits it. Lovely oh, touch. Outstanding save. And that's, oh. That is it. That's 3-0. And we've got this notice about him. Pantomime Campbell, villain. Pantomime villain. And he absolutely loves it. Look at him. A terrific celebration. And he's playing to the crowds and playing to being a pantomime villain. And he's absolutely loving being in WA. He's made it 3-0 to New South Wales. And it's a terrific piece of play to make it 3-0, David Cantoni. Uh, yeah, great little flick. A really good save. But no one there to clean up, and, and he took it first. And uh, I, th I, could, I could guarantee that... Mm, 127 people in this building are probably not very happy with Mr. Campbell right now, and the other 30 from New South Wales are loving every second of it. And I'm sure his family listening in New South Wales are absolutely loving it as well. It's, it's, it's always good to have these characters and personalities in the game. It gives us a little bit more flavour. And uh, the fact that he did score that goal and decide to celebrate the way he did, <laughs> you know exactly what you need to do to stop him from doing that is to score four goals and do it yourself and it's true Kalichi we don't want robots we want nah. flair we want passion that's why we love the game whether it hurts a bit well that's football it's, it absolutely is football and it's, yeah, it's great to see the personalities on show and you, 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 you pay a price of admission to watch him play because he has been box office this game in fact a lot of the New South Wales players have and it's a shame that it's come on the back of WA playing their best bit of football and their best bit of play. But as you said, once you play like this, you leave yourself a little bit more open on the counter-attack, and it seems like that's exactly how they've just been punched here. Mm. There's a little bit going on the sidelines here. Maybe a, a bit of an apology from the New South Wales coach to the WA bench there. Maybe they thought it was taken a little too far. Throw in for WA. In a nice little dangerous area. Can we have a bit of a set piece here? Amounts to nothing. Not the best throw in straight to his chest. I know he's a big boy, but I'm sure he likes it to his feet as well. And we see that in Paralympic football that you can roll the ball in which automatically puts the ball on your player's foot. So it's used multiple times in a game. The long, the long throw is, is much less common. Atkins ellipse to Boyce. And that third goal really has knocked the Campbell. wind out of the sails here. And that's four. That's a terrific finish from Augustine Murphy once again. Campbell's found himself a little acre of space in the middle. Does a little lovely touch to the side, and that's 4-0 New South Wales. Kalichi top in, so that's not savable from eight yards out. No, it, it, it absolutely isn't, and I think it's a, it's a drinks break right now. It's probably exactly what WA need, but New South Wales don't want this to stop. They're playing some terrific football right now, and again, there's just a lot of space that's happening for them on the pitch. Uh, not drinks, Kalichi. WA uh, making a change here. Yeah, number 35 coming off. Rodriguez in Yongueres coming off and coming on the pitch. Alan Sarago Aki. Rodriguez has really left it all out there and you can see and hear from the crowd the appreciation. No, it's a, it's a lovely gesture and there was a little bit of a piece on him on Channel 7 the other day talking about the work that he has been doing and coming in um, from Burundi, I think, and, and living, making a life for himself here in WA, and it's a terrific piece. So if you do get a bit of time, go out there and, and see it. It's, it's only a little two-minute segment, but it's lovely. New South Wales have been relentless here. Murphy's on a hat-trick. Oh, oh big save. Big-time save by Sam McConaughey. The WA heads are down right now, but that's still a big-time save.
I think things may have been said in the, in the heat of the moment. And the we don't mind seeing a bit of passion, but I bet we need to show a bit of decorum as well, Kalichi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking to the wrong person about decorum here, David. Unfortunately, but oh, I did just recognise I was uh, I was maybe do as I say, not as I do. There, it's it's situations like this. Obviously, it's 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 a nightmare situation to be in a final at your home ground in front of your friends and family to be down four 0 But you you do need to make sure that you kind of stick your head in the game. And unfortunately, there could be a situation where things are being said. Obviously, we can't hear it, but the respect needs to stay and mutual and stay between both players or both teams rather. And a reminder that a lot of these players are in the national program and they play with each other and they go into camp and they train and they're mates. So uh, I'm sure at, at full time, no matter what the score is, there'll be, there'll be handshakes and hugs, not a problem. There absolutely will be, but I suppose sometimes it hate, hurts the most when it's your mates who are preventing you from winning and it's their 14th or 15th one in a row. Campbell with the touch. Yes, I do remember one time, Kalichi, you putting a goal past oh, me. Oh, off the crossbar. Great little strike there. From Atkins, it get hit with a crossbar on the post met. I think there was a save there. I think that was pushed onto the bar. Too bad we haven't got the. Uh, we'll have to check on the replay later on. Austin Gillick looks in, finds bunts. A tackle from Murphy. And everyone's paying for blood. I think the referee has given in. It's the biggest cheer of the day from the home crowd. There, there is a real threat of Bunce getting the ball in his defensive third and scoring. The way he runs and drives and finishes, that there is a there is a shout that that New South Wales have recognised that and putting in those tackles early. But like you mentioned earlier, that was in the defensive third and there was a, a full squad of players between him and the goals and they're up 4-0 but yeah you're, you're right there has been it has been a it has been a we're having a couple substitutions right now it looks like Bunce is coming off and Bremer Bell as well so leading the pitch for WA is Bremer Bell Connor Bunce and coming on the pitch for WA you can hear we have another substitution Fan favourite, Chris Minatello, going to enter the fray. You can hear it. Chris Minatello is coming onto the pitch. Miguel Marcelino is also coming on. Corbin Major is coming onto the pitch as well. Mm. So wholesale substitutions for WA. Marcelino has just entered the pitch with the... Would be double the age of most of his uh, compatriots out there. He's he's uh, aged like a fine wine and returned to the program in the last few years. Oh, it's terrific to see that he's back here and still in the program. Straight in the big sir. And that's a corner for WA. Oh. Yeah, it looked like a, a bit of a touch there. Maybe it just caught the turf and flicked sideways, but uh, WA might be a bit unlucky there. Bit of swaz there from um, Lava Geta. And again, putting it into the sort of danger area at the far, far post seems to be the tactic there. WA have in introduced Chris Minatello. Chris has been in the program for, for more than 10 years and, and renowned for scoring goals, big goals. Yeah, he, uh, I think he scored five mid, mid game. And he's got an opportunity here. Can we find him? Giacomo Izzo has had a terrific game and he's looked up. It just has not squeezed through there. Unlucky Izzo. That was, as you said, he's had a terrific game and he's worked tirelessly up front by himself for a lot of it. And he's been so composed on the ball. It's been isolated for, for, for quite a big time. But, yeah, he has been terrific. He's scored seven goals so far this tournament as well so goal contributions have been there for him throughout Augustine Murphy who's on a hat-trick 
Looks up, oh, find Williams. Pass. Williams, that is a delicious goal. Terrific play from New South Wales. And to curl it into the far post from such a tight angle. It's terrific football that's been displayed here. And that makes it New South Wales 5, WA 0. Yeah, this could really turn into a bloodbath here, but we've seen some of these scores in, in the tournament. People get a bit fatigued, and they have to push forward to try and try and score a, score a goal for themselves, leaving lots of gaps at the back. And it's just been easy to pick off. There are some substitutions that are happening right now for New South Wales. Coming off as... I think I've got this one the wrong way around. Augustine Murphy. Coming on is oh, coming off as Augustine Murphy coming on is a Harrison Dowdell. I think he had it the wrong way around. He had the red one as the black. Red one is number two. It's a little bit upset there if I was if I was Augustine Murphy. Mate, I'm on a hat trick in a final, and you've taken me off. Agreed, but they are a, a pretty professional setup, and and he's coming off thinking job done. I'm on a hat trick. <laughs> In a final. How many hat-tricks in final have you scored, David Cantoni? Uh, that would be a big fat zero, Kalichi. Same amount as Augustine Murphy right now, but he's had a terrific game nonetheless. Yeah, he has had a really great game for, for New South Wales. He's, he's been strong, he's worked hard, and he's got himself into danger areas. And we won't forget that free kick for a long time, oh. the one that set them on their way. No, not, not at all. And I remember we were talking about how good it was of a... Of a, of a yellow card to take and one that you frame, but they scored right off of that. <laughs> you had that <laughs> had the yellow card anyway, but Campbell. Again, lovely check over the shoulder there from Dowdell. He looks up, Campbell's through. Can he finish? Great save. Great save. And it deflected off. Them. Deflected that one off Williams, but that is a great goal. Another one for New South Wales. Dow Dow will try to claim it. Williams will say that it came off of him and it's his goal, but either way, the score is now New South Wales 6, WA 0. Yeah, and I think it's three or four times today I've said great save and you've said goal. Uh, it's something that WA haven't really done and supported their keeper when he's made the big save. They haven't cleaned up the the crumbs, whereas New South Wales have been at hand to tap home. I think one of the things that's just really struck out is is New South Wales' movement off the ball. There's always a player who was there. You see them checking over, like Dow Dell in that situation. He checks over his shoulder even before he's received it. He knows which his first option is. And despite not even going to his first option, he then sees another run coming in from Campbell. And Campbell's the one who takes that shot and it comes back to him. So the movement that they've got right now is terrific. But again, it's a lot easier for you to move when you're 5-0 up. There's a few players out here for New South Wales that didn't feature in the earlier games either. They've, they've been smart with their use of their players and, and uh, probably maintained a, a bit of freshness in the legs that... Maybe WA are lacking here in this, this last quarter of the game. Campbell just takes a turn. Campbell. Reverse pass, lovely. Back to Campbell. He's looking up. Off the crossbar. That is delicious play right now from New South Wales. It's one, two touch passes. They're trying to score the perfect goal as well. And Jack Williams, I'm pretty sure that might have been his hat trick as well. Mm, we... You talk about that sort of tikataka play that we see throughout some of the, the Spanish football teams, and maybe we see it in New South Wales as well, Kalichi. Yeah, you'd like to think that it's the uh, para footballers of New South Wales that influenced Barcelona. Yeah. But it is, it is, it is, it is superb to, to watch. Again, you need to understand the context of this game. This is a final match. This is a tournament. In Western Australia, you're far away from home and you're keeping your composure and playing football in this way where a lot of teams get really nervous and try their best not to lose. They've been super creative and moving the ball around. You, do, you have mentioned, Kalichi, they do have that pedigree. They've done it again and again. And for many years, the Nationals were in Sydney and, and people talked about that home advantage for the, their side, but oh, they can do boys. it anywhere, it seems. Big time tackle from Lava Geta. Boys was marauding up the pitch and again like you were saying there's just this acres of space that makes this game different where as he's walking up the pitch Daniel Campbell's done and yeah just keep walking just keep walking Campbell 
Great save again. Great save. Great save. Realistically, that that's probably the tenth save he's made that's that's been down low, wide. He's made some up high as well. It's a really good performance in a in a game where you're six 0 down. That's easily a, like the ten save he's made, and I, I want to say around six of them have been significant, significant saves as well. Mm. Connor Marsh, he looks up. McConnick here with a touch. Oh. oh my word, what a hit! What a hit! Daniel Campbell rips one to make it seven heaven for New South Wales. He just goes over points to the crowd. He's not saying anything. He's just walking straight back to the halfway as if he does it every single week. And David, you're going to tell me that he does. He does. And you know what? We've seen it at international level before from him and, and he's showing it again here. Do you know what? You don't have to be a pantomime villain when you're just knocking some in from, from midfield. <laughs> laces out. No, laces out. This has been an ex like an extraordinary quarter of football from New South Wales. They've just showed their pedigree and increased through the gears. WA unfortunately are not living with them right now, and it's 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 hard to take because you can see again from the group stage the parity between these two teams. And so we did think that this final would be closer, but you can just tell that there's a little bit more demoralised right now and just yeah. struggling to keep in the game. Yeah, and we've touched on a lot of things there. The the depth of players that New South Wales have, the pedigree, the experience. There's got to be a lot of nerves out there for WA. Um, and at the start of this second half, we were talking about how well WA were playing for those first two, three, four minutes, creating some chances. So it's not like they can't match it with them. They just haven't been able to sustain that, that level of quality that, that's needed in a final. And I, I think that's the difference that you have not early in the final, but when you think about it international level is a lot of players can do it one-off. But to do it week after week after week, to have it consistent, and there's got to be some familiarity that is just that is just that you can't account for, you can't measure when you're playing with the same group of players. And you've mentioned that this is Campbell's probably 10th championship. Mm. Yeah, Ben Atkins out there, been in the... Australian set up for, for more than 10 years, probably 15 years now, and, and just a cool, calm head around, right? We're still seeing out there for, for New South Wales, one, two, three, four, five, six players that have played for Australia, and for WA, one. Williams tries to loft it. This is unbelievable. It's turning into an exhibition from New South Wales now. They're, they're showing their flair, they're showing their flicks, they're showing their skills, and it's coming off too. Minicello holding off his man. Oh, Boys unlucky. does so well to just stay composed. Big time tackle. Minicello shoots wide, but you can see the crowd just willing, willing, willing them on and trying to get a moment that they can cheer for other than that solitary yellow card earlier in the game. Yeah, Chris Minicello is that, that really traditional number nine striker. Big, strong turns and hits it. You think of players like Alan Shearer or Mark Viduka. He's, he's, he's that type of player. It's four now, four on one. And great save once again by McConaughey. That's easily his eighth significant save right now. He's been WA's best by far. Absolutely his best by far. And one of very few touches for Chris Pine in the New South Wales goal. He'd, he'd probably say this has been a pretty easy outing for him, mate. It's, yeah, it, it, it's... He's spent more time outside the pitch than outside the box than, than anyone else. He's just camped in there having a chat to the players. But they are striking the ball so well. And have a look at the off-ball movement that's happening right now. Oh, good touch inside. Dal Dal, the boys, strikes it. Oh, Campbell was going for his hat-trick. I'm sure he'd love to tell the crowd about that. Can they keep this in? Dal Dal hasn't looked out of place since he's come on. We, they took off uh, international Augustine Murphy and brought on 
this youngster and it's, it's nothing has changed. It's really impressive from the young fella. No, oh, and you can, you can see the composure in his touches as well, even just coming inside, and he looks very, very assured. And a lot of the players that you're looking at and watching right now for New South Wales, they all want the ball. They all want the ball. They all want the ball in tight spaces. They all are more comfortable just doing a quick one-two around the corner and giving and going. And I think that's, that's, a, that's a big difference. And I think you mentioned it earlier is, is the depth that, that New South Wales have, that, you, like you said, you can take off an international player put someone else on and how's this easy interception there by Lavagetta there's no let up from New South Wales Marsh either in the middle cuts back onto his right foot oh. he tried to place that in the top corner didn't he just a composure that we've seen from Atkins all game just happy to try and stroke it into the areas he wants it to go into Minicello close to say put up Campbell he's got Dowdell to the left of him Marsh to the right. Looks right. Stuck in the middle is me. Marsh again. He just glides right past. And here's Dowdell. Keeps it. Again, it's the composure being in these areas. Can they find a final pass? McConaughey, and another terrific save from McConaughey. Low to his left to make it a corner. Deny Marsh. That, one's, that one goes in the highlight reel, Kalichi. Wow, what a save. He's, he's covered the whole width of the goal and, and poked it out of the far corner. And this is a terrific and significant moment here. We've got Lavagetta coming off. Coming on the pitch for WA is Ian Carmichael. Yeah, Ian's been in and around the WA program for a few years now and um, and realistically one of the outstanding ball players for Western Australia. Great what to a, see him get some minutes. What a moment here for Love I Get to, again, one he's never gonna forget. Proud favourite, a lot of family are here. WA captain, Paru himself. And fittingly enough, he passes over the captain's armband to uh, Miguel Marcelino, who is one of the original Pararoos from the Sydney Olympics. Yeah, that's, that's correct. As I said, Marcelino's age out there, he's double most of the compatriots out there, maybe triple some of them. Uh, he's doing well to be playing football at 52. I'm 34. And in December, mate, and I'll tell you right now, I'll be lucky to play in five years' time with the knees that I've got. Kalichi, have you met my knees? <laughs> it's it's just absolutely <laughs> impressive out there from from Miggy, and he's he's not out there to make up the numbers. He's covering ground. He's shutting things down, and he's marking and one of the best players on the pitch, or if not the best player on the pitch as well, in Campbell. Maybe in the country, right? Maybe in the country. He is outstanding, and Miggy's just smart. He's filling the gaps, and he's. And he's just, he's just making sure that there's no easy way for Campbell to get a shot away. He's talking to the players as well. The leadership and the direction that you get from that is second to none. He would have been there and done that. Cross. Campbell lets it go. Hawkins oh. Ellis just glides past. Gets a 1-2. Daldell. Marsh on the far side. Crosses across. A terrific defending, firstly, to prevent anything further. And then McConaughey just mops up. He's done that well in the second half. Realistically, it could have been much worse for WA if not for his performance. Minicello just holding up the player there. Carmichael oh. brings back the berth that David Cantoni wanted, but Campbell's through on goal here. He glides past one. Good bit of defensive play, and he's won the ball back. He looks up. Right, Easily nice. finds Marsh, acres of space. Can he finish? No, he cannot. 
WA just need to keep their heads here. They're, they're leaving a bit in on the challenges. It probably doesn't need to be done. Minicello is, I don't know how he's going to stop. Way Does well to keep it in. He was just going so fast. I was thinking, how do you stop a freight train? Can he find some support? He looks up. Switch the ball out to Arke there. Arke finds his own. Arke again. Can we have a shot? Arke shoots. Deflected. Minicello. Oh, great bit of composure there by Atkins Village. And that's what we've talked about all day from, from Atkins. He's, he's been the composure at the back. Playing almost a quarterback role at times, but also mopping up when New South Wales needed it. That's what I think is so interesting about the game. Obviously, with it being seven aside, you can have different roles and positions. So you really do need to have total footballers who can play the quarterback role, but then end up finding themselves on the wing. A bit like Williams has here. Does he keep it in? He yes, does. he does. Oh, outstanding. Referee's been told that he's blind, but he's obviously not. And interestingly enough, the AR number two is uh, Matilda's co-captain, Williams. Campbell. God, another save. <laughs> I can't say it enough, Another Kalisi. Another save. What a save. Highlight reel. Sam McConaughey, he's had it a, an absolute blinder. Campbell really wants his hat trick here. Oh, that is delicious. That is exceptional bit of play. A terrific com combination play by Dal Dal, Campbell. And Marsh on the and end Marsh of it. And Marsh on the end of it. He just can't find the finish his last two times as well. A little bit of a chance here for WA. 3v3, very quickly turned into 3v4 by Campbell, filling into a gap. Minichello just needed to have come to the ball a little bit more, but... Boys mops up and turns it into a counter-attack for New South and Wales. Terrific tackle by Marcelino. Winding back the clock there, mate. He's come over from the right-hand side to, to fill the gap and win the challenge. You've got to read play so well, and isn't it? A really good job there. Four added minutes of extra time. Daldell is looking up. Can he find Campbell, who was ghosting in on the far post? But Marcelino is doing well to track him. And big time punt by McConaughey. And Arke just relieves a bit of pressure. He puts it uh, over the fence and into the barrier fence outside. So for New South Wales, it's barring something extraordinary. It looks like it's going to be another Paranationals title. And for a lot of these players, they'll be going to the... Oh! That would have been unfair if he just scored a back heel goal like that to make it 8-0. But for a lot of these players, they'll be going in Asia Cup, yeah, starting in Melbourne. And just, just a few weeks away now, really. And it's really exciting to have a... An international tournament in Australia. We, Another one. Yeah, two, two in a year is not a not a bad turnout for us. Um, a lot of these players will be playing with each other on the same side and and uh, cheering each other on. So while there's a while there's a, a bit of a bit of battle out there now, they're all good mates and and they'll turn out in the green and gold and play with each other in in less than a month's time now. And we understand that Australia have a really good chance to, to go far in the tournament as well. Um, yeah, yeah, you're correct. They're a really strong side. And, and, and as we've seen out throughout this tournament, a lot of good players around. A couple of players missing from this tournament as well that will just strengthen the uh, Australian squad even more. And, of course, another significant milestone that could happen. <laughs> Crowd's not happy, but that's a clear and obvious free kick. And putting my Australia hat on, I don't want to see that in the extra time because I want, 
I want Campbell out there and banging in goals for Australia in a few weeks. I, I want Campbell banging in goals for Australia as well. I never thought that I'd ever say that uh, as a New Zealander, but I want to see him score some goals. But I think there's a, another significant milestone that could potentially happen um, in that game with, um, with a certain captain receiving 100 caps as captain, but also potentially... Oh, he's found the back of the net with that one. Connor, Ca Connor Campbell. Daniel Campbell rounds off his hat-trick with a clinical goal. He's just placed it into the bottom corner, makes it 8-0, and I think he's just capped up a man of the match performance there. And you left, left a lot of the crowd speechless. Yeah, correct, and, and he deserves it. He's been the best out there by far, and, and he's been a, a real thorn in the side of WA for 60 minutes here. I thought you were going to say 60 years, but it does feel that way. Congratulations to New South Wales. They've run out as national para champions with an 8-0 win over WA. A raft of goals from this side, but they really turned it up in that second half. Put a terrific performance in and a just-deserved winners. Anything to add on or any final words from yourself, David Cantoni? Uh, just uh, thanks for having me, Kalichi. Um, really good venue for the for the entire tournament and Football West and um, and their associates that have put this event on. Uh, round of applause. It's It's been the best Nationals I've seen. It's been a terrific Nationals. Football Foundations uh, Australia should be very, very proud. It's Football Foundation WA. Football Futures Foundation, our oh, third time lucky, okay. um, should be absolutely delighted with it. The games have been great. The crowd coming up from being part of this final has been terrific. New South Wales once again champions in the, w, uh, in the para nationals i've been kalicho sonwa david cantoni's been on the host thank you and all the best
Cheers, bro. Thank you. Yeah, it was actually quite good.
for more Victoria, who came out victorious here in a third place playoff. One by one, we'll call them out. Captain Angus McGregor. Byron Jones, Han Top, Christian Sangus, Adam Torrey Top, Joshua Betts, Sabian Canoto, Jackson Scott, Michael Puppet, Kenneth Van Heek, and the coaching staff of Rip Whitehead, Sharon Wong, Andrew Roto, and Seth Baxter Jam.
Now, second place award winners here, Football West. We'll call them out one by one. Rafferty Bacon. Chris Mutillo.
Congratulations to the champions once again. Football of New South Wales. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out to our wonder, wonderful championships here in Perth. Uh, alongside being the team laundry man assistant coach